Hi there and welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 13. We continue with the middle part of the building and adding some window frames in the middle because uh, right now it looks a bit empty. So we switch to the second layer and we append the window frame from chapter 4 from the library file. Append. And there it is. So we want to use this in layer one and drag this to the middle. We want, if we look at the sample, uh, one, two, three, four frames right there. So uh, let's tweak it. So I put this right there so we have the same space on top and the bottom. And then we drag this a bit so it feels good and make it a bit smaller because now they are a bit too wide we need to change that cool the next step is you go to the modifiers and do a mirror apply a mirror it works a bit different than chapter 4 where we used an array and remove the sides In this part i like to do it a bit different adding two mirrors for creating four window frames and how that works i will show you now so select the whole window bring this to the left then we select the right part and enable clipping so it clips right now if you disable clipping it will just go through it clipping and when you clip it sort of uses a magnet and merge them together so that's great but now it's way too thick so we select the left part and we make this a bit smaller so we have the same thickness as these parts right looks very good to me so i want to make this left part also a little bit smaller well not that small okay use this and apply i want to remove the middle face because there's a sort of a double one x face you won't see anything but it's just for optimization in fact, we want the same for uh, the rear, but there is no rear. <laughs> well, that's great. We already did that. And we may, we add a new mirror. Sometimes I talk too fast. All right. And we clip this again. Clipping. And merge them. And merge them a bit more. So like this. Four frames, move this to the right, and you can see it's a bit too wide. So we apply this, and same for these, remove the middle face, select everything as and scale this just a little bit, or else uh, it looks stretched, and move this to the middle. Well, inside of the big hole. Yes, press R, X to turn this a little bit because we turn this a little bit forward and we do it again. We need to apply some of the ornaments as well. So we have the frame, but if we apply material and it needs to load the text, you will see seams. And yeah, we have that uh, before. So we need to tweak that and uh, select the vertices. The the front for these go to the UV image editor and align these make it a bit smaller so if there's one thing I don't like that's seams really breaks the illusion so quick preview this one has a lot of seams. Da, 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 da. Oh, then go for a new projection. <laughs> that doesn't work out. Of course, it's it's a blend texture, so it can happen. It's uh, the other one is uh, causing a problem. But look, this looks good. So we now select the window. This is all the windows. What is a good idea? Control L, Shift D, P, Selection, Select again, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. 
and that fixed the problem directly as over there press n checking the scale Tutor is good yeah sort of second nature <laughs> checking the scale i mean as long as you check it you don't do it wrong you can drag this a little bit to the left all right maybe lower this part and in edit mode you duplicate this Yes, and one more time. And we need uh, one, two, aha, uh -huh. we have uh, a challenge. We have one, two, three, four windows and three windows right now. But to be honest, I think it fits better if we have three. I mean, it's easy to fix. You can add another one and scale this backwards. Like, it's no problem. We have smaller ones so let's say it's up to you what you prefer if you want three windows that's fine but I prefer four it's not that that's the best solution it's just a matter of taste that's also something I want to learn you that you can switch your opinion about things like hey receive some feedback from people say you're not preparing your course you're just doing things and well, that's totally not true. I prepare everything, but I really like to model things with sort of the, the flow, how things go. Because if I prepare everything in detail and we do it, it feels like I'm a robot. And now I, I'm facing problems, which is up very normal. Well, I won't even call it a problem, but it's just what happens. And how do you deal with it? I mean, what do you do? That's so, so interesting. So don't take it wrong that that is is not prepared i know what i'm going to model but there is, needs to be some freedom during the process so uh yeah that's something i want to tell you <laughs> uh, okay so these windows are a little bit backwards so we move them inside and same as we did with the we need to turn them a bit and this is interesting. Control L. Drag them. Ah, these have no frames. So what we will do, we select the top. So they're merging with the top. Okay. But these have frames. So these need to be inside. Good. I saw this one has a little bit of extra space. Turn it right there. Good. Maybe a bit more. No. Nope. Empty spaces are killing your scene, so try to put it right there. So a quick overview. We have the frame and the windows, and uh, it looks uh, like it's becoming a building, all right? So if we compare this with the old one, it's getting way more good looks. I mean. We need to do a lot like in the next lecture we're focusing on this top part and starting with uh, the roof uh, so we need to do a lot of things but well we we get somewhere the, this advanced building is um, is uh, is getting somewhere <laughs> okay i'm repeating myself i'm, I'm uh, ending this lecture and i hope to see you in the next one where we continue this process okay bye bye